We were walking through the museum in San Diego, art, and you said art is dead. Yeah. What did you mean? The whole experience of walking into a museum, it's so sterile, and you have to be quiet, and you have to be like, you have to look at a painting that doesn't mean anything, and you have to be like, oh, I get it. Right. When you don't, mm -hmm. and it costs millions, and you have no idea why. And I just don't get the whole, I think it's so old. <coughs> was it at one point interesting? What happened to art? It was, yeah. Um, it always changes. And there was the realistic kind of drawing that was huge, you know, and then... Like was, back, back, back yeah. in the day. Yeah. And then there was a modern art that kind of took it and like completely broke it. Mm -hmm. It's. It, I mean, there were a lot of steps in between. Sure. But I think like uh, when Jackson Pollock happened, that started that whole like abstract. Which was more of a commentary on the art that it proceeded. Yeah. And at the, yeah, at the time it was va valid commentary. Yeah. But I feel like... Uh, Today, I, it kind of created a lot of, like, lazy art mm. that is just, it's just, like, not much. And it's a, and they also, like, they're all so full of themselves in art. Mm. And, like, there the, was this the one, scene. there was this famous, um, <coughs> there was this huge thing, ready-made art. Mm -hmm. And, <coughs> like, all these different art paradigms, like you were saying, Ultra realism, yeah, impressionism, whatever. Yeah. They all are an interesting Cu commentary, cubism, yeah. cubism. And so in that, in that, mo it's easy to look back and be like, oh, that's not that interesting. But in the time, it was important. And that's and so there was ready-made art that was important when it happened. Like this one guy yeah, with Duchamp. the urinal, mm -hmm. and that was like, what, what year was that from? I actually don't know the year. Fifties. Um, can look it up, Marcel Duchamp. But <laughs> when he made it, it was like he took a urinal that he just bought from like a Home Depot right. kind of store, and he put it in the museum and said, "This is art." Nineteen seventeen, Ian said, "That was a hundred years ago." That's crazy. And back then, that was a that was like brilliant, really? right? That's crazy. <laughs> it was like a parody. It was a satire. It was self aware. Yeah. And since then, I feel like people are like, "Oh, ready made art." They like miss the whole point, and they're just putting random shit. Mm -hmm. This is really popular still. Put random shit, call it art, and it's like, dude, you missed the point. The urinal was the joke, and that was a hundred years ago. Yeah. And it's like, you walk through museums, and it's just it's time capsules that doesn't mean anything to anyone anymore. Yeah. And there's nothing interesting happening. And when I when I went to art school, they kind of teach you this like, they kind of it's I kind of see it as a cult. They have mm -hmm. like this way of living that you're supposed to follow where you need to be obsessed with art galleries and every week there's art openings and you're supposed to be going to all of them right. and be following all that stuff and like you gotta be miserable. <laughs> I remember one of your teachers saying something to you about our relationship, yeah. what did she say? She said she doesn't think you can make art while being in a happy relationship. Like <laughs> Fuck she you. It's a contradiction. <laughs> Maybe in your life you said <laughs> miserable hag. Um, I just find it all funny. I don't... That really pissed me off, by the way. Yeah. When you told me she said that. I was like, who the fuck? Who, uh, you Sorry, your life sucks. So does your art, probably. And a funny fact about her, we had two courses in a year. Yeah. The second one, she just didn't show up. Yeah, she's miserable. She's off being miserable somewhere. <laughs> um, I just uh, don't, don't relate to the art scene anymore. I don't know if I ever did. I like art in a way, but... <coughs> I don't really like the art scene, and so when it, when we go to a museum, I really don't like the experience. It's yeah. so boring. It's just old. Like we're living in this dig this wonderful digital age. I feel like any interesting art now needs to be interactive in some way. It needs to be playful. It needs to be colorful. It needs to be stimulating and fun. Like, there's nothing that will excite any human on this earth about a painting on a wall. That's like it's just it's just doesn't do anything anymore yeah at one point it did but so, i think your description of it being like a cult is really accurate because it's like everyone walks around like oh yeah art let's go to the museum and meanwhile you know everyone is like this i would this is awful i hate it mm -hmm. what was that great kurt vonnegut quote about art you remember that 
something about like art is just a conspiracy between the rich. Yeah, to make the poor people feel dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God bless Kurt Vonnegut. Um, I also I when people always ask me about inspiration, I just don't really I don't really see it that way. Like if I look at a bunch of stuff, it's interesting and it's good to know what's going on, good to know the history and all that. But when I draw, I try to like I actually don't look at anything. Hmm. I don't like You specifically don't want outside. No. Flux. I feel like it's distracting hmm. and it's exhausting me. If I go to if I see something that I like, it's actually exhausting. It's like I don't I can never make that. Hmm. It's kind of like depressing me. Interesting. So I don't even like it. I don't I just if I draw, I'm just going to put on music and just not look at anything. Hmm. Do you have favorite artists today who are making modern, or um, I would even call it postmodern? I don't know. Uh, there's today. some famous artists that I do like, like uh, Takashi Murakami. I want to pull up some of their art because if you like them, then they must be amazing. How do you spell that? Takashi Murakami. Here, I got it. Murakami. Let's see. So these, look at this. This shit is insane. Yeah. And when he wow. does an exhibit, I've never been to his exhibitions, but when he does one, it's like the whole space is designed. You're basically entering a world. Yeah. Here he is. And this shit is crazy, dude. Look at the fuck. That is so nuts. It's like anime. It's really awesome. I just like reduced this incredible he has, art. No, he does. He is. He does do stuff with anime. If you type sculpture, he has a very famous really sculpture of like an anime creature, sculpture. girl, with you'll see. Uh, oh, this one here. Stuff like that. Oh my god! Yeah. I can't show that. <laughs> what the it's, fuck was that? It's art. You can show it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's art. We can show that. Yeah. Get off my back, Twitch. <laughs> Dan, blur that. Put a blur over that, please. And another one is... Yeah. But can I just describe it? It's Goku with a lasso jerking off a massive erection. So. But, Dan, for, <laughs> for real, blur that. I know it's art, so get off my back, YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> but, Dan, just to be safe, because I respect them and our audience, blur that. Another one is uh, Yayoi Kusama. Kusama? Isn't that mean, like... Kusamic? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it means, like, vagina in Hebrew. <laughs> no, it's, like, uh, it's a curse. Not vagina. Oh, Kus is the, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck. I know Hebrew. I know all the good words. What's their name? Y A Y. Y A Y. Um, is that it? The first one. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, this lady's nuts. Look at this installation. Like this is art. Like you walk into a museum that looks like this, you're like, oh all right, man. I'm 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 experiencing something. That outfit, by the way. So I like them. Okay. I see why. No, I definitely see why. Look at this lady. Shit's crazy. What even is this? Look at this. <laughs> this is like an installation with mirrors and yeah. like Infinity glowing mirrors. pumpkins or something. Yeah. Wow. Cool. I can tell I definitely see what what you see in this. Wow, this is insane. They're both very famous by now, very established artists. Look at this. Another infinity infinity mirror. So is this an installation? Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Nice. Good taste.